Hello, World Tank Blitzer, it's a little finger. Hey, got a great did I win or did I lose battle here sent in by Ice King on Hellas in the Conway Tier 9 British TD. So as we get started and get this game warmed up, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell, hit the like button, leave a comment. All of those great things that you can do to help me continue to grow the channel. So yeah, did I win or did I lose? Uh, this series I started so that we could feature on those really, really close battles. Uh, so that maybe we get a little bit distracted from the fact that there's so many lopsided ones. But um, here we go. Uh, the Conway Tier 9 British TD has good forward speed at 40 kilometers per hour. But it turns like a boat in water um fully rotational turret which is nice on a tank destroyer it sports 260 alpha of pen doing 600 average damage there we go shot number one for 588 very nicely done using the hard cover to keep from being spotted and or shot. There we go. Oh, this tank does not want to turn much at all. And that's going to come into play later on this game. But you can see here, nice acceleration and nice speed. Aim time, 2.08. Allows you to snap in shots just like that. And oh my god, the right side of the map has just collapsed. Look at all of those red tanks. And there is just one little greenie running away. So, Ice King here wisely is going to get back in line with his team after maybe trying to get a shot into the Pershing. There we go. Spotted. Accelerate. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Or maybe we should turn around and use our 10 degrees of gun depression and uh, see if we can't hold off the flank a little bit. Let's see if he can find a, a nice juicy target. Hesh does not pen. Hesh does 200 pen with 670 damage. So one of those tanks where your premium ammunition does more damage. Um, HE does 770. Alright, so they have successfully slowed down the flank. Can we get a shot in here? There goes the Pershing. That's an okay trade in my books. Um, taking a kill for a 220 damage shot, but as you'll see here, they are down a tank. VK to the left, AMX, look at the slow, slow turret. Finish him off, finish him. Uh, he's finished off by the Yag Tiger. Three on three now. Uh, the IS 5 goes down, swarmed by those three red tanks. Pushing up, see if we can get a shot in while they're reloading. Uh. They've gone off the radar, not spotted. Okay, we've got a full health T92 here. And a pretty healthy Yag Tiger. And then the VK still left to go. Wow. Um, this is not going to be easy, but um, I'm going to let this game get a little bit closer before I tell you to leave a comment. There we go, two on two. But he's got a T92 behind him. Who's not aiming at him? Looks like he's going for the kill on the Yag Tiger. Okay, so here's the situation. Uh, he's just shot and missed. There, he has 1,300 hit points, and uh, looks like there's about 3,000 hit points still to go. Um, what an amazing bounce there! So. Hit the pause button, go down below, leave a comment. Is this a win or a loss? All right, so T92 is just taking a big shot, putting him down to 670 in hit points, but 
maybe a nice high roll gets the T92. So I thought that was an interesting decision to go ahead and shoot the VK there when you really got to worry about the T92 because he's going to come around again. Uh, and he did not anticipate the long reload here. He could have gotten in there and gotten a shot in. Uh, so he's going to get the Hesh loaded. There we go. As we said, the Hesh does 670 in damage and sets a fire, taking out the T92. The VK, guess what, is now a one-shot and can't do this much damage to him. So, yes, if you guessed that he was going to win this one, uh, you'd be right. Coming in at 5,400 damage, four kills. Um, <laughs> wonderfully done there with a little bit of luck, obviously, with that bounce from the VK at the end. But anyways, a win is a win. Remember, guys, have fun out there. Stay safe. Get educated, not fingered. Little finger out.